like for someone that's like that feels hopeless, have you seen or heard stories of of men and women that have overcome and have been clean from pornography for a, a long period of time? Oh, I, we hear thousands of those stories, and and they are encouraging. And uh, we have people write into us all the time how they've overcome and and uh, and been healed from this, or or on a journey to be healed. And, and quite honestly, the the most poignant or uh, really touching stories is to to see those individuals who lost everything. And believe me, it does happen so many times. People. Pastors lose ministry, people lose jobs, people lose family, um, and on and on. And when somebody is at the bottom of, of you know, the rope, uh, down on their knees, and um, just to give you an, uh, an idea, I, I was at a conference. We had a booth there for, you know, Covenant Eyes, and I, I had, it was actually another ministry down, down the way a, a bit gentleman came up and just said, thank you for covenant eyes. He said, I was to the point where I was going to take my life. I actually got to that point. I took the gun from the house and I went out to kill myself. And um, luckily my wife saw that I had taken the gun, called the police and they found me and they stopped me. And I was able to get help and heal from that. And Covenant Eyes was part of the, his, his healing through that. So that's why he's thanking me but or us. But uh, when you see those stories and know that, um, you know, God still loves us and, and he's watching out for us. And um, th- there is still hope. And um, we really need the people around us. We need our church and we need to do better as a church with helping people find that be, you know, being safe to say, I've got a struggle in this area and then coming alongside of them um, and helping them find the resources in the, the healing and walking that out. And it's really about discipling people through this. And mm-hmm. so I, you know, I don't, that really doesn't answer your question, but there's just oh. so many powerful I stories think, and testimonies. I think hearing from you, the person that works with this each and every day, hearing this, this statement of thousands, mm-hmm. and I think that sticks out to me, thousands. Because there's someone that says, no one can ever beat this, no one can ever change. Yeah. And your answer to them is thousands. Yeah. Yeah. 